Coming up, we'll discuss the controversy with the availability of scooters around Columbus. Lime and Bird are being questioned whether the use of scooters can be safe or not. Also, we'll discuss student activities and opportunities around campus and where to find them. And later, with Urban Meyer coming back from suspension, we'll talk with students on their opinions of the matter. We'll discuss the controversy with the availability of scooters around campus. Ending the show, we'll get to see students' opinions about Ohio State's affiliation with Colin Kaepernick and Nike and discuss diversity on Ohio State's campus. Hello, and welcome to Buckeye TV. My name is Nolan Harmon. And I'm Nisha Whitfield. This semester, students have found a new mode of transportation. Here's Sam Levy with the story. This year, upon returning to Columbus, students came across scooters spread all across the campus. You can choose between two different companies, either Bird or Lime. All you need to ride, a credit card and a valid driver's license. While many students have enjoyed the luxury that these scooters provide, others, including city officials, don't think it gives the city such a good look, saying that it makes everything look dirty and unorganized. While we know what city officials think, let's find out what the students of Ohio State think of the new scooters. I love them. I think they're really convenient. Um, sometimes when I'm driving, I don't like them as much. Um, but, you know, trying to be late to class or trying to get from one side to the other, they're very beneficial. I think it's a good idea, but I've been here, I'm a, I'm a fifth year here, so I've always been used to walking to classes. It's good exercise, but, you know, if you need to get somewhere to class, or you gotta get to class late. Probably a good idea to whip the scooter around. I like scooters, I like the scooters. I think they're a good addition. What do you think about the look that it gives the, the campus and the city? Um, I do say that the look, it does like make it more modern. Um, and yeah, I do notice around, like, yeah, it's a step in the right direction to making it more like modern and efficient, but yeah, if it's only done right. I think it gives more of like, a younger look to it um, because I think students are the first ones that are going to grab these scooters um, and Columbus being you know kind of like half this young town and kind of half kind of this older generation I think kind of like minge, like like merges together the two different sets. I don't think it changes the look that much I would say if anything it makes it a little more modernized to see people driving electric scooters around. While students on campus enjoy using these scooters city officials are looking for ways to regulate them. One idea is limiting the number of scooters that Bird and Lime are allowed to have in Columbus. Another is requiring students to stay on either the street or the sidewalk, both of which would require changes to the scooters. The good news for students is that the city is looking into ways to keep the scooters around, meaning that they are here to stay. For Buckeye TV, I'm Sam Levy. Scooters may be a new thing, but here is something that has been around that has started to receive more attention. Are you considering counseling, but are unsure of where to start? Buckeye TV reporter Leah Seymour has more. It could be normal or even expected for students to feel more stressed as the semester goes on. However, a recent poll by the American Psychiatric Association stated that 39% of Americans feel more stressed today than they did this time last year. Luckily, there are resources on campus for Buckeyes who feel they need help. We spoke with Dr. Shanali Rainey for the details. Yeah, so we provide uh, multimodal services, uh, which essentially means that we tailor, we have a number of different services that are tailored to the needs of the students. The Office of Student Life offers a variety of services, including one-on-one -on -one counseling, couples counseling, and psychological testing. Students can also attend daily workshops centered on everything from stress management to art therapy. And our goal as a student life office is to support students through graduation. So we're really saying this may be in your best interest. Um, if you're hesitant about that, come to one of our workshops. Our workshops are run by all our staff, and so they can connect with staff at that point. Students can schedule appointments with professionals at uh, either the Youngkin Success Center or Lincoln Tower. I'm Leah Seymour with Buckeye TV News. Counseling services are increasing due to the recent falls of off-campus garages. Campus is not only taking prevention measures through counseling, but by shutting down parts of the parking garages. Ohio Union South and Lane Avenue South have shut down their top two floors of parking garages. When they'll be reopened and if other parking garages will take the same measures is still to be determined. Measures are being taken to help Buckeye students find help 
bring people together, and remember why they are here. A thing that always brings Ohio State students together are our traditions. Ohio State is rich with traditions. Now that football has started with force, Andrew Joseph has more on these traditions and what they mean to the student body. When you have a community as tight-knit as ours, we have traditions, superstitions, and rituals that mark us as a Buckeye. I asked students what they thought of these traditions that make being a Buckeye and game day what we know it to be. We've all heard the OHIO rally cry from the crowds. We've seen the M's crossed out all over campus. We've jumped in Mirror Lake, and we've sang Carmen, Ohio, arm in arm with fellow Buckeyes. But have we thought of what it means to each of us? Whenever you're leaving a game, whether you're playing Michigan or not, you are supposed to sing along to the song I Don't Give a Damn about the whole state of Michigan, which at first I thought was really arbitrary, but like after going to a game, it's actually like one of my favorite parts. It definitely strengthens the community because everyone kind of has a common, despite like you know the diverse you know student body we have, everyone has a common thing they do for every game day. Like everyone jumps in the lake for Michigan games and stuff like that. Yeah, so I think it brings us all together. Um, to me, a lot of it's just like making it at home because I'm moving from a town that's so small to a um, campus that's five times as large as that. So to me, it's just making it at home, I guess. For the Buckeye community, it seems that these traditions bring us closer to each other. We walk through a campus that is rich with tradition and friendship. I guess Carmen, Ohio is correct. Though time and change will truly show how firm thy friendship, Ohio. For Buckeye TV, I'm Andrew Joseph. Up next, we'll discuss the digital unions and when and where to use them. And later, we'll talk about Urban Meyer suspension and how Nike has chosen to involve Colin Kaepernick in their newest campaign. <laughs> 